Hi guys, we are going to do a taste testing in this vlog. First we are going to taste test this Crickland Signature Kettle Chips. Crickland is a Costco product you all know. Let's look at the nutrition content on the back side. So for 9 chips the calories are 150 which is the one serving size. It has total carbohydrate 5%, sodium 5% and uh, total fat is 12% which includes saturated fat and that is 5%. So let's open and see how it is going to look and smell and taste. It is thick, the chips is thick like other kettle I chips. The smell is good, it smells good actually my daughter is so eager to try before me so she's digging in first mm. and um, it tastes good as well it has a good crunch so i think this will be my favorite from now on for two pounds the price is less than five dollar and free as well so in my pantry crickland kettle chips is the winner so i give a big thumbs up for this crickland kettle chips so the next product that I really wanted to try and test is the crusty Belgium waffles. You won't believe it. The picture on this box tempted me to buy this product. I think I'm not the first person who fell for it. So let's look at the nutrition label on the back of the box. Um, uh, it has for one waffle it has 220 calories and total fat is 12% and uh, cholesterol 7% carbohydrate 11% sodium 18% so it has 12% sugar as well so these are the ingredients and now let's look at the serving directions uh, so you can cook this in the toaster oven or a wide mouth uh, toaster or toaster conventional oven so I'm going to cook this in the wide mouth toaster. so the direction says use it in a low setting so let's do that and before that let's open the box and see how the waffle looks inside definitely um, it looks good it's thick and it has six waffles inside one bag there is two three four bags inside so six fours are 24 so let's open the bag and oh wow it looks really good you see it as i said it's thick and you know my daughter wants to try this as well first she's going first she's not cooking she's just eating like that she likes it so i'm going to put it in the toaster oven and here it comes definitely it cook perfect crispy on the outside so make sure to cook this in the low settings that's important because I I did not do it it burnt a little bit on the back side um, but anyhow uh, so always cook this waffle in the low settings so we added some whipped cream on top and some syrup so now we are digging in there you go so as we cut in you can hear the crunchy sound so this tells you that how crispy it is as well as it's soft inside crispy outside and soft inside the taste is really good so for a frozen crusties belgian waffle i definitely give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel Fatty's Journey. Thanks for watching.